Go back to your child. What were the fascinating things? What's out there? What's beyond the stars? How long does it go on? I did quit my job. I'm finally free, baby. But let's preface a few things. It wasn't an easy decision. There's a lot of reasons I liked my job. The reasons I liked my job did not outweigh the reasons I hated my job, but... So on my last couple days, I really was thinking, man, I'm gonna miss some of my coworkers and that I've learned so much from this job. But let's talk about the reasons that why I left. In healthcare right now, we're seeing a mass exodus of workers. A lot of workers are burning out. It's a very stressful time to be in healthcare. The job that I had was super stressful as well. It really started to wear on me. Throughout the past year, I really felt my health deteriorate just due to the job. Honestly, it's super hard to put into context like why it was stressful, how it is stressful, I've never been in that type of stress. I've never felt that type of stress before, so it's really hard to iterate that. The floor I was on was an internal medicine unit, and it was fast-paced. There was, it was fast-paced. We were always moving. It's just hard to catch a break, and this wore on me. It was just draining. It was so draining, in fact, that on my days off, it was hard to recover. It was hard to do the things I love to do, like working out, like playing sports, being outside working on projects, all that stuff. It was just really draining on me. On the floor I worked on, we also worked with patients who had a lot of illnesses, had a lot of bugs, but this meant I was constantly around different bugs, different diseases, and I could tell my immune system was not doing a good job. This floor was so busy that there was multiple days that I didn't even get a break, even on 12 hour shifts. And I mean like no breaks. Like yeah, there's a few times where you can check your phone and shit, but there was only enough time for like five minutes of like taking a little break. So there's no point in trying to go eat some food or anything because you didn't have enough time. So there was multiple days where I literally ate nothing. Having no chance to take a break or reset gets old fast. Not getting a break was more common on eight hour shifts, 12 hour shifts, there's usually a little bit of time to at least get something in. I almost don't know if there was ever a break where I was uninterrupted the entire break, where I didn't get a phone call. If I haven't talked about it before, stress is one of the main causes of a lot of diseases. So when your job itself has this much stress related to it, it's hard to mitigate it enough through meditation and working out, being outside. You can only do so much. Yeah, doing those things is necessary and will help. When your job is that stressful, it's gonna follow you around. Even thinking about work, I started to get stressed. Like, it's just, it wore on me that much. The next reason I quit that job is because of the patient population. So I did interact with a lot of good patients that were fun to be around and that did want to change. But the majority of the time, I was working with patients who did not want to change. They didn't want to get better. And a lot of them were there because of alcohol use or prior substance abuse. Just weren't really looking to get out of their situation. And I still want to help those people, but it's so difficult if they don't have the motivation themselves. This is where it really contradicts my passions and beliefs because my passion is helping people and seeing them change and empowering them. You can't do that with a lot of the patients I was working with. And this was hard on me. I just wanted to see people get better. I just wanted to help. And it was almost impossible. It was like trying to break through a brick wall. It gets old very fast. And the issue is when there is those people who did want to get better, I started losing all motivation to even help because these other people had, you know, made it so difficult to do. And the healthcare system is just broken. We're doing things, allowing patients to do things that are not in their best interest. The food they serve is horrible, not making them any healthier. In fact, making them even less healthy. It was just not the environment for me. 
I want to create people who are truly feeling alive. When I left, when I leave, when I left that job every day, I would not feel complete. I would feel empty. And I want to be a person full of passion, full of love, full of life. And this job did not leave me feeling that way. So this is true with nursing in general, that you end up kind of being a people pleaser in every direction you can think of. As the nurse, you're kind of the hub of everything. You're in charge of your patient and everybody comes to you for direction, for answers, for questions. And so in a lot of these scenarios, you end up being the people pleaser. You have to please your patient. You have to please the doctors. And a lot of times what they want conflicts. You also have to please the patient and their diet and dietary stuff. You have to make sure they're comfortable. You have to please their visitors. And sometimes, sometimes this is rewarding. You feel like you've done something, made someone's day better. That's great, that's fulfilling. But a lot of times you're not making people happy and you're never gonna make everybody happy. So let go of that idea of making everybody happy. It's not gonna happen. When people you're working with are constantly not happy, that makes it super difficult. Okay, so the next reason I quit is just the medical system in general. So being at a bigger hospital, I just felt like another number in the system. I didn't feel special at all. Yeah, so maybe this sounds a little bit like weak, like why do you need affirmation? Why do you need to feel appreciated? You should just know, whatever. But when, when you feel like you're not appreciated, you're not gonna wanna stay at a job. Like it's just, if your work doesn't feel appreciated, why stay at a job? I'm not gonna slave myself and not feel like I mean something. And the focus all the time is just on what things we're doing wrong. There's no really good feedback on what you're doing right. You never really feel like you're doing anything right because you're constantly being criticized and cr critiqued and there's always these new protocols and all these things change and it's like a daily, almost every shift there was some new change going on and so nothing ever seems to operate right when you're constantly changing the whole environment. And I've talked about it before, I can link the video above, but modern medicine is broken. It seems more like it's just big business than it is really meant to fix people. And I know there's a lot of doctors and nurses with good intentions, but the whole system in general just isn't doing it right. Americans are unhealthy and they're not getting any healthier. The way that they show support for their nurses is a little goodie bag with, you know, a couple crackers in it or a pizza party in the back room. Most of the time we even bought the pizza ourselves. Like, come on. Not to mention the amount of times that I felt like our, we didn't have enough nurses on the floor and we felt short staffed all the time, even if we were staffed for our unit. Like, my patient loads were just too big. Like, we were taking on too many patients where you're just running from patient to patient, pushing meds, and there's a lot of room for mistakes. There's a lot of ways you can make mistakes if you're working and operating in the system. I just don't want to be in a system where I can easily make mistakes. This one maybe isn't the best reason, but I just didn't like the work hours. So even when I got switched to days and evenings, I don't like either of those times. So day shift is 7 to 3.30. A lot of times on day shifts though, you stay later than 3.30 just saying so during that time that's like maximum sun exposure being outside a good time to be outside whatever and also it's kind of like a wake up at 5 30 and get moving real fast just to get to work at that day shift the evening shift i liked more because of having the ability to be outside and do things before the shift ever working till 11 30 is a little too late <laughs> like that's not for me. So by the time you come home, you shower, unwind. It was one, sometimes it was two o'clock before I was sleeping. And then night shift. If you're working 12 hour night shifts and you're working from 7 p.m. to 7.30 or if you're working eight hours, you're working from 11 to 7.30 in the morning. If anyone can convince me that working at this time is okay for your health, I'll give you a million dollars because you can't. It's bad for you, okay? We need our night nurses, yes, but it's horrible for your health. So there's a few things I want people to take from this video. If you have seen any videos about nursing and quitting in general, you can see there's a ton of common themes. I don't agree with, with the pill pushing, with the pharmaceutical industry. 
it to me it just does not it does not add up to quality health i do not want to see the patient that i just saw next week i want to fix them or give them the tools they need to fix themselves send them on their way i don't want them coming back nurses are getting sick they're getting burnt out they're feeling like crap and they're feeling unappreciated this is common theme we need to fix this also your health matters if you are doing something that you can tell is detrimental to your health stop get something else find a passion find something that drives you that motivates you look some people would say just push through it you'll get through it no man the conditions were horrible i went through a year of this and it was probably one of the most detrimental years of my life as far as health goes so i started on night shifts and i definitely had a little bit of a sleep disorder uh, night shift sleep disorder whatever it's called because I could not sleep if I work three days in a row I would probably get a maximum of like four good hours of sleep you can imagine how hard this is on the body so as this was happening I said you know what <laughs> I cannot suffer through this that long and I just kept asking requesting to be moved to days and eventually I did but what I found was this wasn't really the fix I was looking for there was still stress I still had low energy and a horrible work-life balance, so this drove me to eventually quit. So I quit my job, but I'm not done with nursing. I have another job lined up that I'll talk about in the next couple of videos coming up. So if you're down for that, subscribe. Thank you guys for all the support you show, all the love you show. I really feel that, I love that, and I appreciate that. Keep living your life, dream big, peace. Thank you.